Well, it is National Salad Month, so we had to call one of our favorite people, Miss Erica Schlick. She is with the Trail to Health. Erica, you make the best, yummiest, easiest, healthiest recipes. That's why we had to call you. So what are we making today? I try to make it as easy as possible and as delicious as possible. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make my beet and grapefruit salad, and it has a delicious lavender citrus dressing that's super herby and ties it all together. Yeah, so. kind of a few different tastes that we're combining there. I like it. Yeah, and it's a very hearty salad. You know, you can eat this on its own. It fills you up pretty well, or it pairs really well with a nice grilled meat or with like a baked fish even. So super easy, but super nutritious and very flavorful. So okay. we're gonna start with our dressing. So I have some extra virgin olive oil here, and I have the juice of one tangerine. I've got the juice of one lemon, and I've got some grapefruit juice. And now my trick with the grapefruit juice is I segmented my own grapefruits and what's left from the pulp is so juicy. So I usually use that as the juice for my dressing. And I've got some fresh lavender here and it can be a little tricky to find sometimes. So you can always use a little bit of dried as well. If not, you can substitute with another herb. You can use some more thyme, some marjoram, something else to give it a really herby flavor. I've got some thyme that I just put in and some sea salt. So that's our dressing. We're gonna go ahead and whisk it all together here. And then we'll just set it aside. And I wish you could smell it. The citrus of the herbs just smells so, so good. And yeah, over here, I've got my beets. Now you can do them a couple different ways. You can either roast them in your oven, cover them in some foil, pop them in there, and then pull them out and peel them. The Instapot is also so easy. You put them in there with a little water. About 30, 40 minutes later, they're cooked to perfection. And they actually even sell cooked beets already in the market too. So you can even use those if you really want to simplify it. So got our beets. I've gone ahead and chopped them. And I've got my segmented grapefruits here, and I used about two grapefruits for that. And we're just going to go ahead and combine this together. And I just love the color of this too, between the beets and the grapefruit. It's so pretty. And I've got some pistachios here, and that gives it a really nice crunch. And last but not least, I've got some capers. And I love the brininess that this gives it. I've gone ahead and pan fried them in just a little bit of avocado oil. And it's just such a wonderful combination of flavors. So that's our salad. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our dressing over it. And that is it. It is the easiest salad to make. It holds up pretty well too. So if you make a big batch and you don't eat it all the way, you can always eat it the next day and it's actually still really, really good. And that's our salad. It's super easy, delicious, amazing flavor profile, and so healthy for you. So many different things I would not think to put together. And that's why I like, I like talking to you because you do so many unusual and fun things. You've got your cookbook right there in front of them, in front of us, yeah. if we want to get it and also remind them it's Lyme awareness month. It is Lyme disease awareness month. And my journey started because of a tick bite that I didn't know. And it took about two years to get diagnosed. And so it's all about raising awareness. If you're going to be outside, make sure you always do tick checks, make sure you use either permethrin on your camping gear and your clothing or some kind of DEET or essential oil repellent and always check for ticks. They like to hide in your scalp, in your armpits, in all sorts of hidden areas. They can be the size of a poppy seed. So really important to be familiar with your body and always be making sure that you don't have a tick attached. Love it. Erica, it's so great having you on the show again, and we'll see you again soon. Absolutely. Great to see you too.